Joanna. What are you doing here? Hi, Radia. I'm here for my chest x-ray. It's a requirement for my school application. Okay. Since you're here, can you tell me why do hospitals have a radiology department? How do radiation and nuclear technology help hospitals like this? That's a good question. To answer that, we have to go all the way back to 1895. That was when Willem Conrad Röntgen, a professor in Germany, discovered a new type of ray that was being emitted by a light tube. This ray was capable of passing through a heavy paper that was covering it. It was also exciting the phosphorescent materials in the room. These are materials that glow because of absorbed radiation. The experiments that followed on this ray, later known as X-ray, will consequently lead to the technology being combined with photographic plates in order to take pictures of bones and interior body parts. Imagine back then, an ailing patient would come to a doctor and the only way of knowing for sure what is broken inside the patient's body is by undergoing surgery. Huh, so that's how x-rays were discovered. Yes, the discovery of x-rays was the breakthrough that gave way to radiology or some may call it diagnostic imaging. It has given doctors a non-invasive way of diagnosing patients. That is a big deal. But now in the 21st century, how extensively are we using radiation technology through diagnostic imaging? There are seven types of diagnostic imaging tests. First is the same one that you're here for. An x-ray. Yes. The X-ray is the most common diagnostic imaging exam performed in medical facilities. It involves targeting a small amount of radiation towards the body where images are needed. Another one is the CAT scan, or Computed Axial Tomography Scan. CT scans allow doctors to see cross-sections of the body. The cross-section images produce more detailed images than a conventional X-ray. In fact, a CT scan is often ordered by a doctor when something suspicious appears on an X-ray. Another option for cross-sectional imaging is an MRI, which stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. Similar to a CAT scan, MRIs work well for imaging soft tissues such as organs and tendons. Unlike a CAT scan, MRIs don't use ionizing radiation, but instead use radio waves with magnetic fields. Without the use of radiation, MRIs are often thought to be safer, but they also take longer to administer. Where a CAT scan may take as few as five minutes, an MRI may take up, up to half an hour or longer depending on the procedure. An ultrasound or sonograph, like the MRI, also does not use radiation, but instead use high-frequency sound waves to capture images from within the body. A device called a transducer sends high-frequency sound waves into the body as it moves across the skin. These sound waves create an image of what's happening inside the body. Apart from being used in pregnancy diagnostics, it is also used to detect concerns with soft tissues such as organs and vessels. Mammograms are used specifically in the battle against breast cancer. There are two types of this tests, screening and diagnostic, depending on what the patient will need. Fluoroscopy is a study of moving body structures similar to an x-ray. A continuous x-ray beam is passed through the body part being examined. The beam is transmitted to a TV-like monitor so that the body part and its motion can be seen in detail. Fluoroscopies are also used to evaluate both hard and soft tissue, including bones, joints, organs, and vessels. Blood flow exams often involve fluoroscopy. And the last is the PET scan, also known as the positron emission tomography scan. It is used for disease detection in the body. It reveals problems happening at the cellular level. Examples of these are diseases like cancers, heart diseases, and brain disorders. 
The procedure involves introducing radioactive tracers into the body. With the use of a PET scanner, the tracers uncover problems that otherwise could go undetected until they worsen. What are radioactive tracers? Radioactive tracers in medical use are called radiopharmaceuticals, handled under the special field of nuclear medicine. These are short-lived isotopes that are created by a compact particle accelerator called a cyclotron. A cyclotron is housed in a bunker inside the hospital that offers PET scans. The proximity of these cyclotrons to the PET scanners are necessary because it takes as little as less than two hours for half of these radioactive tracers to disappear because of radioactive decay. So it needs to be injected to the patient and scanned by the PET scanner before all of it disappears? Yes, that's right! That's correct, Smarty! Plus, installation of the two additional cyclotrons are underway. One in Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center in Cebu City, and another one in Southern Philippines Medical Center in Davao City. And I guess there are more methods being developed that can make diagnostic imaging more precise and detailed in the future. That's true. And not only for diagnosis, radiation is also used for treatment. Other medical professionals, such as medical technologists and radiation technologists, can also assist in performing the medical procedures and tests. Radiation oncology is a branch of medicine devoted to the treatment of both malignant and benign diseases using ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation can be delivered through external beam radiation therapy. The general principle involves delivering powerful waves of energy to disrupt the ability of cancer cells to grow and divide, killing cancer cells, slowing their growth, and shrinking tumors to relieve the patient or enable surgery. There's also the implantation of radionuclides in a procedure called internal radiation therapy. Radiopharmaceuticals are also used for treatment or management of diseases. Currently, Therapeutic radiopharmaceuticals are used for the treatment of thyroid cancer, neuroendocrine tumors, prostate cancer, and lymphoma, or cancer of the lymph node. These can also be used for bone pain palliation in patients with stage 4 cancer and for management of arthritis. And then, of course, we have medical physics. This is, in general, the application of physics concepts, theories, and methods to medicine or healthcare. Medical physics ensures patient safety while receiving optimal dose for diagnostic or treatment purposes. These are some of the many ways nuclear technology is helping the health and medical industry. That's very impressive and in a way exciting. Paging. Patient 22. Joanna Cruz, please proceed to the x-ray room. That's me. Thank you for keeping me company, Radia, and for telling me all about these amazing applications of nuclear technology. No problem. See you. Thank you.